Hey, hello, this is the first episode for the dish and uh, today make one uh, typical Colombian food, uh, the name is patacón. Uh, the first step is put the meat and the chicken and the, this onion for cooking maybe 30 minutes or 40 minutes. This is the other step, is to make the guacamole, you know, avogato. It's really simple, open and take and make the guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> you look down, normally in Colombia, the pip, you push in the guacamole, but uh, when you do the guacamole after five or six minutes, and start the, the color brown. Uh, the, you use the, the pip inside and the brown never. After this, your hands, they smell nothing. <laughs> this is a big bananas in Colombia or oh, in America, South America. Is the name is Plátano Verde. Yeah, look, I've been working on it for about five minutes and this is my progress. It's not easy, man. Not easy. banana in one bag. Perfect. We push in the floor. Put the root for the Amstel. And ready. And again, this is again for the oil. One more time and after eat. And then, okay, for, it's really easy. Just start the take the banana. The more important is the chicken or meat, the guacamole, your choice. I chose the, the chicken first. And the second one, we put the more important sauce. The name is Augao. What's in there? It's tomate. Uh, onion. Yeah, your, your, your onion. girlfriend made this for sure. You don't even know me. Oh. I think it was really great and I give it um, just purely because I've never eaten it before and I'm like trying new experiences and it was great and you were very hospitable. Um, I give it a nine. I've given them a eight out of ten. Uh, I think it was a great meal. I'd like to score them higher but I know that it's going to be my turn soon so I'd like to give a bit of leeway there. I'm going to give him the Colombians an eight tonight. Um, I thought it was a great dish. I was a bit hesitant when I found I was having banana for dinner, but there was great crunch to the banana um, and it just blended great with the guac as well. So, And Chavez put his hand up and did it first, so I'm going to give him a solid eight. I'm going to give him a nine because I was really impressed with the effort and the <laughs> taste and everything. I'm going to give it one though for the cherry tomatoes though because they weren't very tasty. Yeah, I'm really happy. It's really good quality. Thank you guys. Uh, the next time I think is a South African meal or uh, Australian meal or Netherlands meal, whatever. Uh, it's good quality. Thanks, guys. And you want to thank your partner in crime? She did most of the work. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Thanks again. <laughs>